Hi, I'm Don Baluch. Uh, I am teaching with Kansas City, Kansas Community College. I am the instructor for the Construction Technology Program. Today we are going to briefly talk about how to read a tape measure. In reading a tape measure, the very first thing that we need to decide is what the tape measure is graduated in. Uh, different tape measures are graduated in different things. This small 12-foot tape measure, the first foot is graduated in 30 seconds of an inch. After that, it's graduated in 16 of an inch. For the purpose of our video today, we are going to talk about a ruler that's graduated in 16 of an inch. So when we have a tape measure, we have units, which are whole units, would go on down the line, two, three, four, so forth on down the line. In reading a tape measure, it's dealing with fractions. If we divide this whole unit in half, we'll have a longer line there, but it won't be as long as the whole parts. That particular dimension is a half an inch. We then divide that half an inch in half, it will be a shorter line than the previous line. It will be a quarter of an inch. We will continue to divide each mark in half. So we divide this distance in half. Its line will be shorter than the last line. It will be an eighth of an inch. And then finally, we will divide that particular line in half, it will once again be shorter than the last line. That increment will be a sixteenth of an inch. So we need to remember that when reading the ruler, we want to look at what size line we are looking at to determine the dimension. So if I fill in the rest of the ruler, Dividing this side in half, we'll have a mark just like this one. Dividing this half into half, we'll have an eighth inch mark. We'll have another eighth inch mark here. We'll have another eighth inch mark there. And then dividing those up, we will have a sixteenth inch mark there, a sixteenth inch mark, a sixteenth inch mark and so forth until we get to the inch mark. So we've divided it up so that we've, on this particular ruler, all the green marks or all the marks that are that long are sixteenth of an inch. All of the lines that are the length of the red line are eighth inch lines. All of the blue marks are the quarter inch marks. And then the black mark that's shorter than the whole is the half inch mark. If you're one of those students that has trouble reading a tape measure, by all means, count each mark. If we had a line that we were measuring that started at this point and went down and ended on that particular point, in order to understand that particular dimension, we can count. You'll count that length of line and any line longer. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have 11, and it's on one of the green marks. So we know if it's on a green mark, it's going to be a 16th. So that length of that line would be 11 sixteenths. Anytime you count those particular marks, we always want our dimension to be in the simplest form. So if by chance we changed 
and this line only came to this point right here, we can still do the same thing and count each mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is ten sixteenths. However, we could have ignored the green marks because we landed on a mark that was this length, so we should have just counted that length of line and any line longer. We would have had one, two, three, four, five. But if I didn't know what that five was, I could continue counting six, seven, eight. So that would be five eighths. We don't want to designate that as ten sixteenths, although that is correct. It's not in its simplest form. When we get to the quarter inch marks, it's the same thing. We would count that length of line and any line longer. So if the line came out to here, it would be one, two, three fourths. So that particular line would be three fourths. Hopefully by making it simple and using it, it will help you to understand reading the tape measure. On the smaller tape measures and such as this particular one, if it goes to 30 seconds, then we could break it down to where that 30 second mark is going to come in between there. Hopefully this will help you in the future if you still struggle with reading the tape measure.